So hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So today I'm going to be deep cleaning the IKEA Detol. So I'm going to remove all the substrate and stuff um, from the cage, um, bake the wooden items and then just wipe the cage down. And then I'm going to leave it empty until I refill it in a couple of days. So I'm not going to be setting up the cage um, in this video. I'm gonna be doing that in a separate video. So today is actually really, really, really hot. Um, it's like 30 something degrees and it's boiling. So that's gonna be great fun when I'm cleaning out the cage. Um, so I've also got to spot clean Loki's cage this morning. I've already given him his medication because he's on um, eye drops. He's got a few days left of the eye drops to go. This is just a temporary cage he's been in for a couple of days and his main cage is the IKEA D12, the cage I'm going to be cleaning out today. So as you can see Loki is awake and he's just in this um, green ceramic dish that I put in the freezer um, earlier today just to keep him nice and cool because it is really hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spot clean this cage um like sort out the tissue a little bit um also get him some uh, fresh water i might put a bit of crushed ice in there as well so it stays cold um i've got to clean out his wheel because he pees on it um and then i'm just going to change around a few of the items <music> So I've just finished setting up the cage for Loki, just got in some fresh water and I put a few little ice cubes in there so that should keep the water nice and cold for a little while. This is the ceramic dish I had put in the freezer, actually just arrived in the um, post today. Pets at home, it's their new watermelon bowl, it's honestly the cutest thing, it's so adorable. So if you guys didn't see my previous vlog, I cleaned out the Living World Eco Habitat. I'll link that video on screen now. And I decided to use it as a little storage area. So when I bought the paper bedding, I didn't actually realize it wasn't safe because I just thought it was paper bedding. I had no idea it had polyester in there as well. So I'm not going to be using that um, substrate. So it's a bit of a waste of money because I spent um, 10 pounds on those four bags. Okay, so now that I've sorted Loki out for the morning, I'm going to go ahead and make a start on cleaning out the IKEA D top. I'm going to be removing all the items first. I'm going to separate the wooden items from the ceramic items. Ceramic items will get cleaned in some um, hot soapy water, and the wooden items are going to be baked in the oven for about half an hour, just so that it kills any germs or bacteria on there, so that they're really nice and sterile for when I use them um, to set up the cage next week. Um, and then I'm going to scoop out the bedding using a dustpan and brush, and then basically just disinfect the cage. This will probably be quite a quick video because I'm going to go ahead and just time lapse everything. So I'm going to be placing all of the wooden items um, on this lid so that way it's easier for me to bring them into the kitchen when I need to bake them in the oven. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make a start on cleaning out this cage. <music> I'm sorting out the cage. I need to go down to the bin in a minute to take down the bag of all the bedding and stuff. So I'm actually really looking forward to um, actually setting up the cage again. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start planning how I want to like set it all out with the different substrates and what items I'm going to use. If you guys enjoyed watching this vlog anyway, I didn't really do too much in it, but um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So bye for now, guys.